Hey guys, I'm Mel, and today I'm going to do my September TBR. I normally never do TBRs just because I'm a mood reader and I never have any plans on what I'm supposed to read. But this month I had an actual list of books that I want to read, especially you know because there are the big new releases and there are some books that I want to reread. So surprisingly, since my wrap up, I already finished four books. Yeah, I might be going crazy, but I read two books in a series in like three days or two days and a half that happened. And then I finished two books that I was reading. So I'm already a little bit far ahead. But right now I'm reading another book that actually I've been wanting to read for a long while, but I completely forgot that I had it. So right now I'm reading Female Japanese Pigs by Ariel Levy. And the interest for this book came out again because I was reading the Spinster Club series by Holly Bourne and I finished it yesterday. And in one of those books, there is this girl who talks about female chauvinist pigs. And I remember that I have this book because Ifa from Previously Die Laughing like recommended it to me months ago. So I wanted to pick it up. So female chauvinist pigs are girls who use their sexuality to attract men basically. So it's like they don't own their sexuality. You know, the patriarchy does. I just started this book and I'm reading it with a very critical eye because I don't want to see the blame wrongfully directed. Even though I do think that women should be held accountable for the contribution to the misogyny in society, I still think that we should not lose focus and remember that this is the patriarchy's fault, not the girl's fault. We don't have to call out people, we have to call out the system. It's something that I find very interesting. Then I want to reread two books. Rereading books is a goal that I put myself at the beginning of the year and I've been terrible at it. The first book that I want to reread is Aristotle and Lanza Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alira Sands. I think you know by now that this is one of my favorite books and I read it like two years ago so I keep forgetting little details so I want to see how my opinions change and also I want to listen to the audiobook for this because Lin-Manuel Miranda reads it. Also in preparation for one of the new releases I want to read Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo and the Queen herself Lee Bardugo yesterday said in Twitter that we should probably reread this book because there are a lot of things in Six of Crows that are going to appear in Crooked Kingdom. I, I think I forgot most of the things except for the big things so I'm going to reread this before Crooked Kingdom comes out. That being said, another book in my TBR is Crooked Kingdom by Liver to God. This is the second book in the Six of Crows duology and I can't believe that it's going to end. I'm not ready for this. I know a lot of people are going to die. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm just going to forget about it until September 27th. <laughs> and another new release that is coming out tomorrow, I think, is Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas. This is the fifth book in the Turn of Flash series. I think by now now you know what this is about and you've heard everything about it. Especially you've heard everything about Empire of Storms because apparently everyone wants to spoil. So I've been ignoring all the spoilers. I don't know why people decided that it was okay for them to talk about the book before it even came out. So yeah, I'm very resentful about that. But I'm so excited for Empire of Storms. This is one of my favorite series. So yeah, I cannot wait to see what happens. Then I want to read a book that has been on my TBR for a long, long time, and that is Truth Witch by Susan Denard. I believe this is about two girls who escape their town because one of the girls is a truth witch, that means that she has a lot of powers and people want to kill her to get those powers, apparently. And I've been hearing so many good things about this. It's on my challenge for this year, the 52 books around the year challenge. Yeah, it's time for me to read it. Then I want to read Disruption by Jessica Shirvington. Knock from Happy Comes First has been talking about this book forever and honestly it sounds really good. It's a dystopian book where people get these bracelets that control their life and obviously there is this girl who wants to stop the government from controlling everyone. So that's very interesting and I haven't read a dystopian book in a while and I think it's one of Nock's favorite books and I always adore reading 
my friend's favorite books. Then I want to read Here Comes the Sun by Nicole Dennis Penn. I think this book is about several women and how their lives are shaped by the changes in their village in Jamaica and specifically about this girl who has to market her sexuality in order to pay for her sister's private school. I've heard nothing but good things about it and I always adore reading books from other countries. Another book that I read at the beginning of the month is uh, The Fifth Season by M.K. Jameson and by now it's one one of my favorite fantasy books. I left that book in awe. I want to read the second book in that series and that is The Obelisk Gate. I want to read it while the things from the first book are fresh in my mind. This month I'm also participating in the Roll Doll Read Along that is hosted by Vivian from Lam Sanis. I haven't read a lot of Roll Doll. I really wanted to wait until September to read, you know, the most important words by him. So I want to read Matilda. I also want to read James and the Giant Peach and the BFG. If there is one Roald Dahl book that you think I should read, let me know in the comments because I'm not, I don't know much about Roald Dahl. And finally, if I can get this book, I'm going to read it. And that is Georgia Peaches and Other Forbidden Fruits by Joy Robin Brown. And there is a read along going on for that one as well. And I'm going to leave all the links in the description if, if you want to join those read alongs. And yeah, that's everything. Hope you like this. If you subscribe and I will see you when I see you. Bye!